Welcome to this quick fire video on how to do a lateral flow test. Remember, if you've got COVID symptoms, you have to get a PCR test, which is far more accurate. Make sure you haven't had anything to eat or drink for 30 minutes prior to doing the test. And the things you will need, a stopwatch, some tissue, a mirror, surface cleaner, and access to water and soap or hand sanitizer to wash your hands. Firstly, have a quick read of the leaflet that comes with the lateral flow so that you know all of the steps and you're not having to rely on a video to do it, which you probably are right now, aren't you? You're just gonna rely on this video. No, but no, seriously, go read the leaflet. This video is for the NHS one, but we recently went abroad and the company that we had lateral flow from just had totally different instructions on how to do it. So you don't want to do it wrong. Have a little read. Not going to hurt. It might waste five minutes, but I'm sure. After you've done that, you then disinfect your hands by washing it with warm water and soap for 20 seconds and then get all the equipment out from your test kit box. And it should all look like this and make sure you've got each aspect of the equipment. Next step is to open the sealed envelope and take out the actual test strip, which looks like this. Very similar to a pregnancy test, but, but it's not, it's a COVID test, FYI. You put this tube in the extraction holder, little hole here so it sits nice and snug. Carefully snap open the top of the sachet, make sure you don't cut yourself, and then release all the liquid into the holder. Blow your nose gently and then wash your hands afterwards. Find the swab and open it from the side that has the arrow. That's the side you can touch and the other side you should not touch. Grab a mirror and then you take that same swab without letting it touch your teeth or tongue. You put it into the back of your throat and you touch the back of the throat where the tonsils are on each side four times. <clears throat> you may gag, that's completely normal. You just carry on. You then use the same swab without touching anything else to put it into one nostril. So you tilt your head a little bit. You go in until you feel a little bit of resistance. For adults, it's about 2.5 centimeters up. For children, it's just when you feel a little bit of resistance. In total, I've done 10 swells. And once you've completed that, Place the fabric end of the swab into the extraction tube, make sure it's in the liquid, and then vigorously roll it around the edges of the tube for 15 seconds. And when you take it out, make sure you squeeze the tube so all of the water is squeezed back into the tube. Put the swab into the waste bag provided, and then pick up the tube and make sure that you put the cap on very carefully so you don't spill any of the liquid. Squeeze the tube gently so you can get two drops and you put it on the area that says S. S is for the sample area. Make sure it's actual liquid drops that come out and not air bubbles. Set a timer for 30 minutes on your phone. For a positive result, you have two lines on C and T. Even if your T line is a little bit faint, that is still a positive result. For a negative result, you just have a line on C and the T area is completely clear. For a result that's void, you have a line across the T area and you should repeat the test again. Have a look at the leaflet, which has links to where you can record your results as this helps scientists pick up new outbreaks. If you have a positive result, then please follow the latest guidelines about self-isolation for yourself and also your household. Watch the next video that is about the Omicron variant answering questions like will vaccines work on them and how contagious it is. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.